Hey guys, I'm from Lazy Guy DIY, and today I'm going to show you how to work with epoxy, make something really cool like this, or something really bad like this. Stay tuned. What I'm going to do first is show you how to intentionally fail with an epoxy project. You may think, oh, I'm just going to do one big pour and get everything over with. Well, that's not how epoxy works. Each epoxy has a maximum thickness that you can pour. Once you reach that threshold, you're going to have what's called an exothermic reaction. It's a chemical reaction that gives off a ton of heat. How much heat? It's enough to melt plastic. You don't believe me? You should probably check this out. Yes, that is smoke you see coming off there. What you want to do to avoid this is pour in multiple stages. It's much easier and you get better looking projects like this. So now onto the real show. What I did was I cut up four inch slices of PVC pipe. I then mounted it to a sheet of melamine with just regular window and door caulk. I used 30 minute variety just because it dries quicker. Before we pour, I add a little paste wax to the inside just to hopefully help it release. Then we start mixing our epoxy. I was using Total Boat 2-in-1 epoxy for this. You do two parts epoxy resin, one part hardener, and then you stir and stir some more. Before I really get onto my big pour, I'm going to do a little skim coat on the inside here. It's just a thin 16th to 8th an inch layer, and I'm going to let that dry before I start. For the main pour, once it settles down, I'm going to be using what's called alcohol inks. This stuff is great. What you have to remember though is after you place a color in, you're going to have to go back over top with white. I don't know what it is. Maybe the white is a little more dense, but what it does is it actually helps push down the colored inks and you get a sort of a petri effect is what people call it, but it's pretty great. You mix and match, you do whatever sort of tie-dye effect that you think you want to do, and then it looks completely different when you're finished but play around with it try whatever color combinations that you want and then just keep adding more just remember to add the white over top another thing i did try is i submerged different objects in and then i started putting the alcohol inks over top so if you're going to put something that potentially floats like a light bulb you want to make sure that you put those objects in ahead of time during that skim coat that way they stick on once the main pour dried i put another skim coat on top to protect the surface when it comes time to remove these from the melamine, what's nice about the caulk is, is that it pops right up and you don't have to worry about damaging anything. To remove your casting from the ring, just take a coping saw and cut as close as you can to the edge and then stop. You should be able to pop it right out with a little force or you can torque it with a screwdriver and it should just snap. Depending if you pour it all the way to the top or you stop just short, you may get a convex or concave edge. This is really easy to clean up with a sanding sponge. Just lightly sand, break the edge and make sure it's smooth. The great thing about this project is you don't really know what your final result is going to look like until you actually pop it out of the mold. So it's kind of a wait and see, but it's definitely worth it. So whether it's an ornament or a coaster, give it a try. It is a ton of fun. Well, I hope you enjoyed this demo. So maybe you'll know how to use epoxy the right way and maybe you'll know how to use it the wrong way. Have fun with the projects. Just try a little bit of everything. Make sure you check out more videos that I have, especially featuring our epoxy. You may like the Cherry Java Clock, but make sure you also subscribe to the channel of Lazy Guy DIY. Thanks for watching, guys.